So whether you're looking to relocate to Miami for work, for pleasure, or just a change of lifestyle, you're gonna wanna know what the cost of living is in 2023. This video, we're gonna be talking all about the cost of living in 2023. So we're gonna be talking about, you know, renting, purchasing, insurance, uh, groceries, everything you can think about for cost of living. So you guys could get a better understanding and see if Miami is gonna be the right place for you. Or if you know you're gonna be moving to Miami, at least you'll know what to expect. All right, guys, so make sure you watch all the way to the end so you hear all the details on the cost of living. And if you are looking to relocate to Miami, invest, or just have a property down here, please feel free to reach out to my team and I. We would love to help you get you settled down here or help you choose an investment property. All right, guys, so without further ado, let's get started on the cost of living in Miami in 2023. For those of you that don't know me and you're new to my channel, my name is Hans Weisfeld, local real estate agent here in Miami since 2016 and Miami resident since 1999. So I did pretty much my whole life here. So everything that I talk about in my videos come from my experience from being raised here in Miami and me being out in the field as a real estate agent on uh, every single day. And uh, so today we're gonna be talking about, again, the cost of living. So let's get started with the first thing regarding cost of living. Let's get started with prices for purchasing a property if that is something that you were to do. So of course you may know that Miami has been a very popular destination for those people that are looking to relocate, invest, expand their businesses, just a life change. So the demand for people looking to move to Miami has been growing exponentially over the years. All right guys, so of course, how Housing is gonna be very expensive compared to everything else. And average, they say around 21% higher than the national average as with uh, the real estate market. And almost every other thing that we're gonna be talking about, again, above the national average, but with real estate specifically, about a 21% um, higher than the national average. So the medium home price here for purchasing is around $473,000, and that is talking about the whole Miami-Dade County. If we only talk about the city of Miami, which is a few neighborhoods in Miami, uh, it's way above that, or in the, in the 500,000s. Anyway, so around $473,000 for the medium price range in Miami-Dade County, and it's gonna be for a regular, uh, decent, uh, uh, three bedroom, two bathroom home. But from my experience and being in the field every single day, I know that 473 gets you a decent home, but I will say more five to 550 if you wanna be in a little bit better neighborhood, a little, a little better neighborhood. However, if you wanna be in a good neighborhood, I'm not talking about the best. If you wanna be in a good neighborhood here in Miami, you're talking about at least 600,000 plus for again, for a good neighborhood. And then of course, the more luxury neighborhoods or the better uh, neighborhoods are all gonna be 800,000 plus. All right, so just keep that in mind, depending for where you're coming from, this may sound pretty good to you due to the reason why so much people flock here from more expensive space, estates and cities However, for those of you that live in cities that are much cheaper, you're probably like, wow, that's pretty expensive, all right? So that's up to you to decide, it's very uh, relative. Um, and then going into the rental prices, pretty much for a one bedroom, you could be expecting anywhere from between 2,000 and 2,100, uh, 2,500, 2,000 and 2,500 for a one bedroom. Again, again, this is very average. If you're gonna be in the better neighborhoods, you should be expecting $3,000 plus. And for a two bedroom, average, I will say $2,500. Again, if you're looking at a better neighborhoods or at the more sought out neighborhoods, you're gonna be looking at 3,000 plus for sure easily. All right, guys? Also. Keep this in mind, it's very little inventory, both as with purchasing and as with rentals, all right? The market is very, uh, again, a lot of demand, a lot of people are moving down. So yes, these are the prices. However, there's very few options even at these prices, all right? Even if you're willing to pay more, there's very few inventory, there's little, very little inventory. So just keep that in mind, you need to have patience. Um, Again, if you're looking for someone to help, you can reach out, we'll be more than happy to help and see what's gonna be the best options for you. 
Now, talking about purchasing, talking about home ownership, let's talk about something very, very uh, expensive compared to other states, okay? Let's talk about home insurance. Home insurance here is probably some of the highest in the whole country. So the typical, according to some websites that I researched online, they say the typical person here in Miami-Dade pays around $2,000, $2,200 for their home insurance. However, in my last two properties that I bought in the last one year, my home insurance is around 4,000 plus, okay? And some of my clients are also paying some, somewhat around 4,000 plus, okay? And the last home sales that I've had, of course, a condo and a single family home is gonna be very different, right? You could already expect that. So again, for single family homes, I will be expecting above $4,000 uh, $4, a year. So just keep that in mind. Also, many areas in Miami need floor insurance, right? So you guys seen the latest, uh, a lot of rain has been going on lately. A lot of these areas have gotten flooded, okay? So it requires flood insurance for sure. Required, I recommend it's not too expensive, so it's definitely worth it. I usually pay anywhere from $700 to $1,000 a year for your typical property for flood insurance. All right, so between flood insurance and, and property insurance, four to $5,000, which is pretty crazy, right? I hear a lot of people in other cities and states pay, I don't know, $500 a year, right? So just keep that in mind. Now, as with the condo, of course, it's gonna be much cheaper. Yes, $1,500, $2,000. $3,000. Now, too much cheaper, but a lot of difference for sure in a condo because again, they're probably going to be smaller, right? The roof is covered by the like, HOA that you pay from the exterior insurance. I don't want to talk about too much of a condo. I have a lot of videos talking about HOA fees and condos and, and prices and condos and all these things that you need to, uh, you could watch if you're looking to uh, purchase in a condo. Now let's talk about taxes for a property, okay? Very important. Taxes here, average is gonna be around 1.2% of the purchase, um, sorry, not the purchase value, of the assessed value by the government, right? By the by the city, okay guys? So average that, that people pay for property taxes probably be around $4,000 in Miami-Dade. However, again, this is assessed value, this is for your average price. Again, I'm in the field every day, I see this every single day with my clients and it's more realistic to be paying more like $6,000 plus, right? So if you're looking for a typical home, make numbers at around $6,000 a year for property taxes and plus. Of course, if you have a bigger home, if you have a more luxury home, more modern home, newer home, whatever the case may be, I have clients that are paying nine, 10,000, 15,000, again, it starts going up, of course, right? But I would say the average, I would say six, 7,000, keep that, keep those numbers in mind. Now, real quick, before I go to the next subject, if you're looking to purchase and then you're thinking of a condo, now that we're talking about uh, prices for cost of living here, keep in mind that if you're looking to purchase in a condo, most likely you're gonna need around 20 to 25% of the purchase price to finance. Why? Again, I have a lot of videos talking about it, but I just wanted to talk about that real quick. So we're talking about cost of living. Hey, a lot of people reach out and say, I wanna buy a condo, and then they don't know about the 20, 25%. So they're like, oh crap, I guess not, right? So just keep that in mind. You will need around 20, 25% if you wanna finance in a condo here in South Florida. Now let's talk about salary real quick. So I'm, I'm gonna be going over all these different prices and now, and you've already been hearing me speak, okay? So a lot of these things may be surprising to you and it may not be surprising. However, average salary down here in Miami-Dade is around $60,000, $60,000 dollars is honestly not enough okay so if you're making less than that it's gonna be tough if you're making sixty thousand you're gonna be okay but you're not gonna be very comfortable you may not live in the best place and you may not have uh the best life that miami can offer to you honestly okay of course there's, a, there's this beach there's so much free things to do there's so much outdoor activities to do but this is the average this is this is you know if you research online you will see these numbers so the reality is to live comfortable in Miami, if you're determining whether it's the right place for you or not, I would suggest, you know, 70,000 plus with the most comfortable number is being around 80, 90,000, okay? 80, 90,000, you can go out to different restaurants, bars, you can go out, hang, hang out, have fun, don't have too much worries, okay? Live in a good place, good car, like a good lifestyle, not luxury lifestyle, a good lifestyle, okay? So around 90,000. Again, you can make it with 60, however, you'll probably need a couple thousand dollars more per month to enjoy. Talking about the average salary, let's talk about the average uh, cost that uh, to go out and have dinner, all right? If you're gonna, if it's gonna be for two people, you're gonna go out and have dinner, average is gonna be around $70, and that's more like on the lower side, honestly. I would say more like $100 to go and have maybe a few drinks and some 
you know, entrees, maybe one appetizer. Again, Miami is not cheap at all. I would say around $100, and that's talking decent plays. Uh, maybe, of course, you could make it with 70 bucks, right? Nothing very fancy. I would say like a better place for dining uh, with so much beautiful places to go out in Miami. I would say more like $100. And of course, if you're going to a you know, more high-end restaurant or a nicer restaurant, or of course, if you're into drinking and you want to have a few cocktails, you know your bill's going to run you more closer to $150, $200. Again, this is average. It's not for the fanciest restaurant in Miami. So just keep those numbers in mind. Now, as I talk about in a lot of my videos, people down here, how, how traffic is and how people drive down here in Miami, which is terrible. I talk about this in all my videos. Let's talk about car insurance. Car insurance down here is probably one of the highest in the whole country because of car accidents and because of car theft, okay? so talking about high we are talking about i would say 150 to 200 dollars a month for car insurance so what does that come up to 1800 to 2500 dollars a year for your average car insurance all right guys don't know how it is in other cities and states i'm assuming it's much much less you guys i don't know how much you guys pay bring 50 bucks a month or 80 bucks a month so again here's gonna be more like average more like 150 okay so keep those numbers in mind and it's gonna help you determine and other cost of living is gonna of course uh, be you know maybe transportation right if you don't have a car uh, if you want to take an uber ubers could get expensive right depending on demand just like anywhere else I'm sure here's a little bit more than other parts of the country but I would say your average uber could probably be you know 20 bucks okay to not get too far I would say 20 bucks 17 bucks 20 bucks 25 that's kind of like the average so just keep that in mind um, parking sometimes it could be really expensive depending on what area you're in but usually like in Miami Miami Beach downtown and other areas you could probably be paying around four dollars and fifty cents four twenty five something like that uh, per hour all right so of course you're somewhere a few hours and that's already 15 bucks in just the parking okay of course cities like new york and chicago much more expensive we're just talking about like the average just to go hang out on the beach okay guys so just keep those numbers in mind as well and then other costs uh, maybe groceries but groceries gonna really depend if you go to you know uh, whole foods if you go to your local supermarket or if you go to wherever you go and shop i would say groceries very very similar to maybe all over the country I will assume it's a little bit more expensive here I can't really compare that okay but you have to budget for that as well then um, that's that's gonna be up to you all right so that's pretty much it guys I mean you have you know if you're gonna purchase you have how much your property is gonna cost you how much uh, your insurance is gonna cost you how much your taxes are gonna cost you uh, how much you know food going out parking driving right you pretty if you're gonna be renting how much renting so you pretty much have it I have it all covered there now guys if you're you're looking to move down here looking to relocate purchase or even invest down here in Miami and then maybe move in the future please feel free to reach out to me and my team you have all my contact information down below I would love to talk to you and get to know you and then hopefully guide you and get you settled down here in Miami thank you so much for watching do not forget to subscribe to the channel every single week we we'll come out with videos just like this talking about Miami relocating to Miami and Miami real estate anyway guys thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next video Thank you.